This video is brought to you by Dynamo's Diaper Powder. Those of us that wear diapers tend to harbor a lot of fears and concerns about anybody finding out about it. These fears tend to make us feel and act socially awkward. It can make us super self-conscious about the things we wear when we need to go out and be around other people. Whether that's just going to work or going out to spend time with friends and family, this fear of anybody finding out that we wear diapers is constantly lurking in the background of everything that we do. One thing you can do to help reduce these concerns is to utilize these three ways to dress that hide that you wear diapers. These strategies should work no matter your gender or style of preference. The first is the one that I think is the most important to consider in the vast majority of situations. This approach is to adjust the clothing you need to wear to the level of thickness and absorbency of the diaper that you need to wear. Ever since I've needed to wear diapers full time, I've always gotten clothes shopping wearing the thickest, most absorbent level of diaper that I might possibly need to wear. This means including booster pads if I normally wear booster pads with the current diaper of preference. I also take into account the fact that the diaper expands and gets thicker as it absorbs more fluid. So I won't actually go and try on clothes until the diaper is at least a bit wet and has already started to expand a bit. This helps ensure that whatever clothes I end up getting can accommodate the thickness of the diapers that I need to wear to stay well protected throughout my day. Then when I actually go try on different pairs of pants and other clothing combinations, I'm looking to find something that I know makes me feel more comfortable. By taking this approach, this helps ensure that whatever I have to choose from in my closet can accommodate the thickness of any level of diaper that I might need to wear. So when you go to buy new clothes, try doing the same thing. Wear the thickest, most absorbent diaper you might need in any situation and choose clothing that you feel comfortable wearing with it. Better yet, choose a clothing style that makes you feel powerful and confident. I feel like a lot of people underestimate how what we wear can impact our psychological state, but that's a topic for another video. The next strategy to consider is to adjust the level of absorbency to the style of preferred clothing. There are certain activities, events, and styles of clothing that will require us to wear a thinner diaper. That way we feel less self-conscious about our diapering needs. I don't know about you, but when I'm wearing a thick diaper and tight pants and a tight shirt, I definitely feel more self-conscious about it and like it might be more noticeable. As a result, that makes me feel and act awkward and makes me think more about the fact that I'm wearing a diaper than I should be. For those of you out there who prefer more form-fitting styles of clothing, this would be the strategy you'd want to go with. Choosing to adjust the diapers to the clothes that make you feel more confident is the way to go. All these strategies we're talking about today are really about self-consciousness and confidence. This particular strategy though does have its caveats. With the first strategy, you're more prepared to be out for a long time enjoying yourself without needing to change. With this second strategy, depending on your specific needs, you'll have to bring more changes with you and change more frequently while you're out to avoid any embarrassing leaks. This is one reason why it's always a good idea to keep diapers of differing levels of absorbency and thickness on hand. I used to always keep thinner diapers for when I would go to the gym or more specifically more Thai training. This way I could focus on my physical health without any worries or concerns that anybody was going to notice I was wearing a diaper. Plus on top of that, it's kind of hard to practice as martial arts while wearing a big, thick, bulky diaper. Keeping multiple absorbency levels of diapers on hand at one time is tough to do though. Just getting a regular monthly supply for one's major needs can be challenging enough, so it's not always an option to keep multiple types of diapers on hand at one time. If you have the means available to you to do that though, I would certainly recommend it. Another strategy to deploy is to wear darker clothing, especially on the bottom half of your body where your diaper is. Darker clothing goes a long way to help hide any noticeable diaper leaks that might happen. Not just that, dark clothes make it harder to see the shadows and curves that might occur from having a thick diaper bulge. While it doesn't necessarily hide the diaper completely, like adjusting your clothing to the thickness of the diaper would, in my opinion, it does help to reduce the potential visibility. Doing what we can do to help reduce the self-conscious feelings that we might feel as a result of needing to wear diapers helps us feel confident enough to get out there and live our best life. We can't let bedwetting, incontinence, or any other need that drives us to wearing diapers prevent us from getting out there and socializing. For more on the signs that diapers are keeping you from socializing, check out this video next. And if you got any value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe for the next one. Until next time, stay dry.